Welcome to my week five NFL predictions and betting locks and a very eventful last week for the NFL. Seemed that the first three weeks of the season went by very swimmingly, but last week brought along a lot of chaos, a positive coronavirus tests among at least three teams we know, uh, the Titans, the Raiders, and the Patriots uh, could be more teams. Uh, other than that, we could have some games postponed this week, namely the Patriots uh, versus Broncos and Bills versus Titans. Already didn't get the Steelers Titans last week, uh, but we'll see what ensues. Um, so on to my week four predictions, a little review. Um, best bets of the week. Uh, so first, the one that I was most confident in was the Ravens minus 12 at the Washington football team. And they covered, uh, almost blew it at the end. They put an RG3 through a pick, and football team got a touchdown. But Ravens did win by 14, so I covered there. A bounce-back game after getting lit up by the Chiefs on Monday Night Football. And then one that I absolutely got screwed on was Cam Newton out versus the Chiefs. They moved this game to Monday. It seemed that Cam Newton was the only positive COVID test. As we know now, Stephon Kil- Gilmore was actually positive but they did play out the game I definitely wouldn't have taken the odds uh after Cam Newton was out they odds for this game ballooned to 11 points for the Chiefs uh after Cam Newton was out I still wouldn't have bet that line but you can't refund a bet so I have to eat this one and Patriots did not cover because of poor quarterback play by Brian Hoyer And then for the third betting lock of the week, I bet on the Falcons again. And again, they disappointed. I'm not betting on them again in the foreseeable future. There's just no reason at this point. They got dominated by the Packers on Monday Night Football uh, and lost by 14 points. So that moves us to 6-7-1 on the betting locks after a 1-2 week. Uh, Pretty unfortunate uh, occurrence with that Patriots-Chiefs game, but... Just a little under 500 on the season so far. And then NFL game predictions. I'm absolutely nailing it. 11-4 um, and four week uh, and 45-17 and 17 overall. That is very good uh, for the game predictions. So now on to my week 5 NFL game predictions and betting locks. Uh, first, we got Thursday night matchup. The storyline, Nick Foles versus Tom Brady. The rematch of Super Bowl 52, both obviously playing with different teams at this point. And the Bears are the team that I thought they were in the beginning of the season. By hook and by crook, they got those first three wins, but then they got exposed by the Colts. And the Bucks have won three straight, look very good, and I'm going to be taking them here to get the win. Um, defense is looking very good. They were able to stop the Chargers down the stretch. Brady's not going to make the huge mistake. He has had a few pick sixes in his last few games. I think he corrects that. So I see the bit, the Bucks winning this one in a very entertaining Thursday night game. On to Sunday action. We have the Rams at the football team. Football team obviously starting Kyle Allen instead of Dwayne Haskins. Rams look underwhelming last week against the Giants at home. But they did end up getting the win. They're a much superior team to the football team. So I'm going to be taking them big in this one uh, over the football team. Uh, Jared Goff and McVay going to have a bounce back week, I think. And then on to the most doubtful game of the season, Titans uh, and Bills. Both teams undefeated for what it's worth at this point in the season. And it just seems like this game isn't going to happen, but it kind of needs to happen or needs to get pushed to Monday or Tuesday because... Um, Titans already used up that bye week early. Can't have two bye weeks. Uh, but if the game does end up getting played, I'm going to be taking the Bills big here. The spread was only like one or two points, which is pretty shocking. Titans are in disarray currently, and I just can't see them winning a game in these conditions, but I'm not sure if it's going to happen. So I'm going to take the Bills. Uh, and then the Keystone State battle, the Eagles at the Steelers. And the Eagles got their win. They seem to be satiated uh, after that big W on Sunday night versus the Niners. 
Um, nothing really looked good. I really feel that Nick Mullins uh, blew the game for the Niners. Um, Wentz played fine, but it was more the defense of the Eagles that won them that game, in my opinion. And the Steelers, off of a bye week, they're going to be pissed off that they have that early bye week. They worked the whole week. Uh, they're going to be very prepared for the Eagles, uh, and I'm going to take them here. Uh, now, the Cardinals at the Jets. Cardinals, uh, I didn't predict them to be good before the season, but I acknowledge they're a better team than the Panthers. They should win that game. They don't, but they're playing the Jets, and Joe Flacco's starting. Um, Jets, worst team in football. They're losing this. End of story. Cardinals win. Now on to my first betting lock of the week. It's Raiders at Chiefs. I just think with how poorly the Chiefs played against the Patriots, they did not deserve to win that game. Again, playing at home, they're going to underestimate the Raiders, who they've beaten handily in the past few years. Uh, And it's a 13-point spread. So I'm not going to make the asinine statement that the Raiders will go into Arrowhead and upset the Chiefs, but it's going to be within 13 points. Derek Carr and the Raiders are going to have an edge after losing the last two. So I'm going to say that it's closer than 13 points, but the Chiefs get the win. Next game, we have the Texans hosting the Jacksonville Jaguars. Both teams spiraling downwards. Uh, Texans release Bill O'Brien. Uh, and Jags just lost three straight. They're just typical Jaguars. Uh, I don't really know who to pick here, but I'm going to go with the better team, the better quarterback, Deshaun Watson and the Texans. Uh, I think they're going to rally around each other amid the chaos. And Romeo Cornell, he usually gets a few wins um, when he's the interim head coach for a team, as he did with the Chiefs. Uh, So I'm going to take the superior team in the Texans. And then on to the Bengals at the Ravens. Uh, This should be rough for Joe Burrow. I'm going to take the Ravens here. Uh, Lamar Jackson and the Ravens absolutely dominated the Bengals' defense last year. And they're probably going to do the exact same. I don't see Joe Burrow being the difference. Um, So I'm going to take the Ravens big here over the Bengals. And then Panthers at Falcons. My stubborn nature wanted me to pick the Falcons as a betting lock of the week because I just saw the number minus two. But I'm smarter than that. I betted on them the last two weeks and it didn't pan out. For my game prediction, though, I'm still going to take them to win. Uh, I see them as a superior team to the Panthers. Not saying it's going to happen, but I'm going to take them to win because they're the better team and they have the better quarterback. And they seem to be more desperate, whereas the Panthers are probably content that they won two straight. Next, on to the 49ers at the Dolphins. And I was honestly quite surprised that Mostert and Jimmy Garoppolo might not play um, which means you have a backup quarterback situation uh, like last week, which didn't end up well. That's a surprisingly uh, big line for that one. Um, not going to predict it as a betting lock of the week, though. I'm going to take the Niners to win. They're going to bounce back, and the Miami Dolphins just do not look good. Fitzpatrick had a terrible performance uh, last week against the Seahawks, so I'm going to take the Niners and a bounce-back win here. Next game, we have the Giants at the Dallas Cowboys. And this one is crucial in the NFC East. Any win you can get, you should be happy about. Um, probably a 7-9, and 8-8 eight and eight team going to win this division. Uh, Got to take the superior team in the Cowboys. They're going to bounce back. They need that defense to play better. And they're going against an anemic offense in Daniel Jones. Uh, and the Giants offense without Saquon Barkley. And... Giants haven't posted more than 16 points all season. Um, I don't see them doing it here. Cowboys offense is very good. So I'm going to be taking Dallas. Now on to the second betting lock of the week. I'm going to be taking the Colts. Uh, minus one and a half currently. It's been trending downwards. It might be a pick em, uh at game time. But I just feel like the Colts are a superior team at this point. The Browns have kind of lucked into that 3-1 and one record. Uh, and obviously, the big stat, they've scored 30-plus in three consecutive games. They're not going to be doing that against the Colts' defense, which is arguably the best in the league. And the Colts uh, looked very good uh, in their last three wins, uh, defeated the Vikings, and then they absolutely 
thrashed the Bears. Uh, Nick Foles and that Bears offense only had three points for a majority of the game to that last meaningless drive. So I'm going to be taking the Colts on the road. Phillip Rivers just knows he can't make the mistakes that he did when he was just the Chargers. Just got to game manage. And I'm taking them to win this game and cover. Next game, another doubtful game right now. The Broncos at the Patriots. A uh, little faith this is one's getting played, but I'm going to take the superior team and the Patriots. Um, any quarterback they have, or whether it be Jared Stidham or Brian Hoyer, or they get back Cam Newton for this one if it's played, uh, I think is better than Brett Ripien. So, uh, Patriots defense is also very good, so I'm going to be predicting them to win this one. And then on to my final betting lock of the week. Vikings, who looked very good last week. I predicted them in the upset win against the Texans. And it's seven points. Uh, the Seahawks defense doesn't look very good. Vikings have put up at least 30 points in the last two weeks. I think they can put up 30 here. I'm not predicting them to win. I'm just predicting them to cover seven points against the Seahawks. Um, last time Seahawks were on my, uh, Sunday Night Football, it went down to the last play against the Patriots. Uh, that was a five-point game, so this one could be close to that. And then the Monday night game, also very intriguing. We have the Saints uh, versus the Chargers. I'm going to be taking the Saints. Uh, they've gotten embarrassed in their last two primetime games. So it's only right. They bounced back against the Lions last week, put up 35 points. Drew Brees trying to prove the haters wrong. Uh, I see New Orleans winning this one at home. Thanks for watching.